What is up, rockers? Today in this video, this is gonna be the ultimate video that we're gonna probably make this year. Yes, because this video is going to give you 20 plus ways on how to get legendary sculpture. This video is officially on steroids. Now, there's so many ways for you to get legendary sculpture, but let me ask you this first. Before we get started into the video, I want to challenge every single player that is watching this video right now. If you're a new player, you're an exception for this. But if you're an old player and you've been playing this game for years now, I've been playing this for four years now. I want to ask you here, before we, the video gets started, is that I want you to type. I want to test your knowledge. Type in the comment section all the ways that you know how to get legendary commander sculptures i'm telling you right now there is 20 ways that i've found 20 plus ways and we're going to talk about this today and some of them involves cash right some of them involves cash we know this but majority of these are actually doesn't involve money you don't have to spend money into it all you got to do is to hoard items and hoard gems and you can actually get Legendary Commander Sculpture. And a lot of these also require a lot of grinding, meaning putting some time into the game so that you can actually obtain these Legendary Commander Sculpture. Now here's the thing, we're gonna try to segregate these into regular events, KVK, and seasonal events. And I'm gonna try to go through this as detailed as I can and help you to navigate in your gaming so that you can obtain a lot of legendary commander sculptures just like what I have here. I have about 1,000 legendary commander sculpture in my account right now. And also, take a look at this. You know, we have a lot of legendary commanders maxed out as well. If you want this, this is the right video for you. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, maybe this video will make you subscribe because we're gonna help you guys here. Press like onto the video and also take a quick look on this video. We have an affiliate link for Secret Labs chair. If you guys are interested in upgrading your gaming chair, take a look into this video. Perhaps you can use the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, meaning that if you guys purchase using the link, as I recommend the Secret Labs to you, I do get a little bit of a kickback there. I would appreciate it if you guys are actually buying a chair, upgrading your chair, and using our link below. So I upgraded my old chair into this new Titan Evo 2022 series. This is the, the Flash design. I have a link in the description if you want to get one. So here's some of the things that I love about this chair. This chair, you can literally tilt it. You can also pretty much lie flat with this, like all the way. Let's look at this. And um, and uh, if you want to take a nap, you can definitely do it. Like, oh my goodness, it feels so comfortable. And some of the things that I love about this is that these are like magnetic. Like you can literally take it off and you can swap it out with something else and you can clip it back in. Magnetic, you can move it and look at this up and down. You can do side by side as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Wow, you can lower it and you can also lock the tilt like this. There we go, I can't move anymore. And I can unlock it to where I can move back and forth. One thing I love about this also is that this pillow is magnetic. You can see it just attaches there and I can just remove it if I don't want it or attach it if I want it. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about in here is that one of the easiest way to obtain Legendary Commander Sculpture. Now, every two weeks, there is an event which if you participate on this, you are going to get guaranteed Legendary Commanders. Now, this event is called the Ark of Osiris. You can either get five sculptures or 10 sculptures. You can go here into the rules and you can see in the rewards, if you win, you can get 10 sculptures once you've reached the required individual score. If you lose and you meet the required individual score, you are going to get five legendary commander sculptures. So this is a bi-weekly event. It guarantees you legendary commander sculptures. Now, when there is an Osiris League, the frequency of Ark of Osiris then is more frequent. Therefore, you can gain more sculptures each week by participating in the Ark of Osiris. The next event is the Kerouac Ceremony. You are first going to start with the easy mode, then you, go, then you are going to move forward into the next stages in here, Normal, Hard, Nightmare, and Hell. Since I am already at Hell, I will be able to get 12 Legendary Commander Sculpture once I finish the whole quest. So I'm gonna click Challenge here, and there we go. 
So once we have reached to 50, we are guaranteed to get 12 legendary commander sculpture. But along the way as well, we are going to get some sculptures as well. Now, another way for you to get legendary commander sculpture from the Kerouac ceremony is if you participate on defeating the bosses when the Alliance have summoned this. So there's really so many chances in Rise of Kingdoms for you to get legendary commander sculptures to max out your legendary commanders. So there's so many ways, guys. There is literally no more excuse on how you can get legendary commander sculptures in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, another way for you to get legendary commander sculpture is through the Mightiest Governor event. This is a competition. If you are a free-to-play, I don't discourage you on competing the Mightiest Governor because you still want to enjoy the game. Now, the hardest thing about free-to-play is accumulating your speed-ups and resources. You can definitely get specific commanders here. In the Mightiest Governor. In the early stages, it's more of a competition, but as the kingdoms typically progress to the older stage, the typical ruling always becomes like a fixed Mightiest Governor, meaning that the leadership decides who gets what and limiting the points or score that can be accumulated in the Mightiest Governor. If your kingdom has a fixed MGE, try to apply for it, and that's actually much better because you're not going to be overspending. And the same thing for spenders and whale, you're not going to overspend your resources and as well as your speed ups. Mightiest Governor is another way for you to get specific legendary commanders to unlock them. Now, another way for you to get some legendary commander sculpture is actually through the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, you will have to use your gems to get the commanders there. There is a universal Wheel of Fortune and as well as a specific commander Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's different types of strategies to do there. We did make videos about this long time ago. I highly recommend for you to check it out. If you are free to play, you can definitely just go to the 10 of the spins because you'll get the extra reward and get you know, bonus sculptures from there. If you're a spender, you might want to push a little bit further for that. But Wheel of Fortune is another event where you can actually get some legendary commander sculpture. So grinding up the gems, we have gem videos as well. Make sure to check them out. Grinding up the gems and stacking up will allow you to participate in the Wheel of Fortune and collect legendary commander sculptures. Now, there's another event called More Than Gems event. As you guys pretty much get from the name it's all about gems it calculates how much gems you have spent and you're going to get some rewards you have to spend 25k gems so this is a two-day event 50k gems total if you're maxing it out so if you're free to play you can definitely just try to get to the 7,000 gems spending per day that will allow you to get 5,000 um, legendary commander sculpture now some of the ways where you can spend it on is going through your VIP or try to work onto your castle by getting books of covenant now there's another event that requires you to use your speed up so here's the best thing about this right um, as I've talked about the mightiest governor event this is pretty much converting your speed ups and resources into other valuable items so there is another event for example like this the game of power which you have to increase power through building research and training all right, so you're going to be using speed ups and resources in this. And then this is going to allow you to rank up and you can get 20 legendary commander sculpture if you can win the first place. Now, I've done this on my free to play account to where I have won legendary commander sculptures through this rankings. Um, it's definitely uh, very challenging because as a free to play, you definitely need to conserve a lot of the speed ups and make one big push and to win that event. Now, there is other events than just the game of power. There is the one that is a research event that's only based on research, but this is in the early KVK. Um, there is the Lord of War, which is only specific to training troops. Now, there is also this event called Now or Never, which is similar to this, S same rewards. But in this event, you will have to use your speed ups and you have to um, win by consuming a lot of speed ups because it's going to be based on minutes, not power. There's also another event called From the Ground Up, mainly for upgrading your building power, if, if I'm remembering this correctly. Now, whenever you summon a brand new commander in the game, there is a chance to trigger a writer of history. This is a very good bundle, very cheap, and break that purchase. If you're free to play, I understand you can't buy them, but if you're spending into the game, when a writer of history pops out, always buy them. Now, another way for you to get legendary commander sculpture is through VIP. I'm trying to be like very direct here on everything that we're gonna talk about. Um, hopefully you're watching this completely, not skipping around because you're going to be missing out a lot of information. 
VIP, once you have reached VIP 10, you are going to start accumulating Legendary Commander Sculpture. Once you get into VIP 12, you're going to be accumulating two Legendary Sculptures daily, right? Once you have reached VIP 14, you are then going to accumulate three Legendary Commander Sculpture. As I am VIP 18, I still accumulate three Legendary Commander Sculptures. To get more VIP, try to be in the Whale Alliance or use your gems on the VIP during the More Than Gems event. Now, there is other events as well, like Silk Road. Whenever you participate in the Silk Road, you are also going to be able to have a chance to get some Legendary Commander Sculpture. Now, there is also an event called Champions of Olympia. By participating in the Champions of Olympia, you can also get one Legendary Commander Sculpture onto the Silver Chest in here once you've accumulated 10 points and one more Legendary Commander Sculpture once you have accumulated another one in here as well. But here's the best thing about this. If you are really grinding in the Champions of Olympia, you can go to the shop in here. You can see that there is another way for you to get Legendary Commander Sculpture if you are a champion above and above, all right? So more ways for you to get Legendary Commander Sculpture and even Golden Key for you to get Legendary Commander Sculpture throughout the Tavern. So let's talk about the Tavern as well. This is another way for you to get Legendary Commander Sculpture if you have Gold Keys, and we've done many videos about this as well. Another way for you to get Sculptures is definitely using your Gold Keys through the Tavern. Now there's another event also called Strategic Reserves where you have to defeat a lot of Barbarians and when you defeat a lot of Barbarians, which you are going to be able to get a box here, which I don't have it anymore. It's called Supply Boxes. And if you rank pretty high enough, you are going to be able to win these items that you can use for Commander Sculpture. So you can choose whether you want uh, Cleopatra, Sun Diok, or Ishida. These are, of course, farming commanders or gatherer commanders. So they are still very helpful in your progress in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, there is another event as well that you can get more Legendary Commander Sculpture. It is through the new Esmeralda event. In this Esmeralda event, you're going to be able to spin for it. Um, to get more spins, you have to just really do the event. You don't necessarily have to spend gems in this one. You can definitely check this video out that we've got in here. And you don't, if I remember correctly, you don't have to really spend gems to make, a, make these spins. Now, if you want to, of course, do more spins, then you'll have to spend more gems. But this is another way for you to get some Legendary Commander Sculptures. Now, once you've entered into KVK, there is also more Legendary Sculptures that you can earn. Now, you can earn Legendary Commander Sculptures throughout the Individual Honor, into the Coalition. I don't think we get anything from the camp. Oh, we do get one in the camp. Yes, we get from the camp as well. So make sure that you pay attention in the achievements in here and try to attain these achievements, all right? And another way for you to get Legendary Commander Sculpture is as well as in the KVK shop. As you can see, in the shop in here, you can also get Legendary Commander Sculpture at a 50% discount and as well as this. So that's a lot. I can literally, I'm just going to buy this because, you know, this is so helpful. I'm just going to buy all of them and I'm going to buy all of this as well. And then I can also buy all of this as well. And either, you know, you have to make your decision whichever you want, all right? So getting Legendary Commander Sculpture has never been easier than before with all of these things that Rise of Kingdoms have released. So there's so many ways. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of breath, but we're not even done yet. There is also the Past Glory event. So once the RCF has been captured, there is going to be this thing called Past Glory and right now, it's not yet completed for us, but here's a picture to how you can actually obtain Legendary Commander Sculptures through the past glory. So many freaking ways. It's unlimited almost. Now, let's talk about seasonal events. This is going to be whenever there is a holiday coming up, all right? Usually towards the end of the year. Now, seasonal events similar to this, you will have like this, where when you purchase some gems, um, you are going to get some Legendary Commander Sculptures. So I'm going to claim this. The first one, and then I didn't get anything from there. Um, but, but you can see you are going to get Legendary Commander Sculptures in certain levels of the rewards in here. There is also another thing that pops out, which is called Recharge Event. All right, so in that one, it's pretty much similar. You got to recharge your gems, and you can get Legendary Commander Sculptures as a bonus. Now, there is also other types of event during this holiday season. There is a 7,000 gem event where you have to unlock it with your 7,000 gems and you can get all these things, kind of like a battle pass, but you can get all these things in here as you accumulate each level, each tier, and you can get Legendary Commander Sculptures. Now, spending 7,000 gems in that event is very worth it. If you finish until complete, you get everything back. 
Now, there is another counter event to that one, which is the rotation one, which you have to either um, convert some of the in-game items that you get from that event into a legendary commander sculpture. So there's so many freaking ways to get legendary commander sculptures in Rise of Kingdoms. So many ways. Let me know if all of these things you were able to type in the comment section and if you've managed to finish until the end, how helpful is this video? I want to know. Anyway, rockers, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. And hopefully this is going to help you guys here to succeed in Rise of Kingdoms 2022 onwards and keep enjoying the game. Anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to drop a like.